No, I don't waste no time Hi there guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that don't know who I am. My name is Joshua Daniel George. I am a digital marketer and online coach. I have my own advertising agency where we basically help businesses get more results and more sales through Facebook advertising and I also have my own coaching business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get clients, how to get those client results so that you can scale your agency and live life on your own terms. And in this video, I wanna talk about uh, two things in particular. Uh, number one being you know, how we can sort of get over the belief, the limiting belief that uh, within social media marketing, the whole sort of agency sphere is saturated and in turn, how you can actually increase your retainers. So first things first, when you get into social media marketing, usually you'll uh, stumble across a video um, either on how to earn money online or how to earn money with social media, how to earn money from home, how to work from your laptop, something along those lines, you will start Googling or something like that, right? Then from there, you will start researching SMMA because someone will you know, basically teach you the term SMMA, which stands for Social Media Marketing Agency. You'll start looking into that and you'll start following a bunch of people on social media marketing, either on YouTube, on Instagram, or Facebook, or whatever. You will join a bunch of Facebook groups if that is something that you're interested in, or you'll do the same on Twitter. Um, and you'll basically start, you know, attracting uh, people within your sort of social bubble on, you know, uh, social media that are doing social media marketing because you want to know more about it. You want to know what they're doing, how they're doing it, and how you can do that yourself as well. So, what you'll notice is that. All of a sudden, your Facebook feed is full with social media marketing, your Instagram feed is full with social media marketing, your YouTube feed is full with social media marketing, your recommended videos on YouTube are about social media marketing or at least something within the SMA niche or sphere, and you start to get social media marketing advertisements as well, which causes you to think, because of your self-reference criteria, because of you know, how you view the world, you view the world from your own sort of like reference points, you know, based on your own experiences and so on and so forth, you will get the feeling that everyone is doing social media marketing, when in reality, it's still a very, very small sort of corner of the internet. Not everyone is doing social media marketing. It may look like that because you have basically ne you nestled yourself within that little bubble on the internet, but in reality, it is not the case. Yes, a lot more people are trying social media marketing, but you know, when you look at people doing that, it's still very, very small compared to you know the whole world, okay? So literally maybe like 0.0001% of the world know what SMMA is and are actively doing it as well, okay? And even within SMMA, there are so many people that don't really understand what it is or what they're doing, or they are doing sort of local lead gen, but they don't know that falls on the SMA. I spoke to a guy the other day who did not know who Russell Brunson was, someone within the industry, and that's not because that person was dumb or anything like that, but just because his little part of the internet, where he focused on mainly running ads for econ stores, he never, he never heard of funnels and you know building the funnels because that is obviously more info products slash lead gen. Or you know, if you've got an overall interest in marketing in general, then you'll sort of know who Russell Brunson is, what social media marketing is, you know, what click funnels is, etc. But a large part still don't know who that is and what that means. And that is not, like I said, it's not ignorance, it's just because it's a very, very specific part of the internet that is focused on that. So yes, you know, like even for me, myself, you know, if I go on social media, um, I don't really watch a lot of like other YouTube, like SMA gurus or anything like that, but I still see it in the recommended videos. You know, um, to be fair, my YouTube is, is so random, like I'll watch like football stuff, podcasts and, and stuff like that. But still, you know, I'm still part of that audience, right? So on my recommended feed, I still see like random YouTube videos, random, like up and coming um, people that are teaching SMA. And for me, if, you know, if, if I didn't know any better, it would look like everyone is teaching social media marketing or everyone is documenting the journey on SMA and so on and so forth. But 
in reality, it's a very, 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 very small part of the internet. Like, if there's one thing that could potentially be getting saturated, it might be drop shipping. But again, that's just my sort of bias towards that. But social media marketing in itself is not saturated. And when you look at the amount of businesses that are getting started, um, you know, I don't know the exact numbers to fit. If, if I can be bothered to look for them, I'll link them somewhere here. But if you look at the exact you know, amount of businesses that are getting started each and every day, there is more than enough for everyone to get a piece of the pie. Because at the end of the day, when you are in social media marketing, usually, like the majority of the agencies have anywhere from zero to 20 clients. Like there are only a very, very small percentage within the small percentage that have more than 20 clients. Usually from that point on, they'll either increase the retainers or they'll build out a team where you know people that are in and around their network will just join their agency, okay? So when you take those numbers into consideration and just think of the amount of businesses out there, just because there's another agency, that's just minus 20 of the businesses you know, in total. That's, that's like worst case scenario for you, right? Minus 20. Um, businesses that you can reach out to. But other than that, there are so many businesses out there that you can reach out to, so many businesses out there that you can potentially work with, so many niches out there as well, which will be part of my next point, which I'll get into in just a second. There are so many businesses, there is definitely enough for you to start and scale an agency and for you to live life on your own terms, okay? Now, with that said, there is a lot of outreach being done within the industry. Obviously, you know, if you are doing outreach at scale, you are reaching out to more businesses than you are signing. So chances are that if you do reach out to a business, that business has been contacted in any way, shape or form before they you know, got in contact with you from another agency. Chances are that if you send an email to a business, that business has already received an email from another agency somewhere in the past, which means these businesses are slowly but surely getting less interested in the opportunity, especially from generic agencies. So what I recommend you do is to pick a niche before you move forward with this, okay? When you're, again, and of course, when you are just starting out and you're focused on, let's say you're focused on supplement companies, e-com store supplement companies, and by chance you get in touch with a realtor, lead generation, something completely different, but obviously within social media marketing. Should you turn that person down? In my opinion, when starting out, the answer is no. You know, you have my permission to play the field. You have my permission to take on clients outside of your niche until you are completely settled on a niche. Because when you pick a niche when starting out, that is your hypothesis, right? You think that is a good niche for you. But in reality, you do not know that for sure. You think that that could be a good niche because maybe you've got prior interest in that particular you know, niche or field. For example, a lot of people that used to be very active in like the floor of fitness industry, they'll go into you know basically doing social media marketing for gyms or online coaches or online personal trainers or physical personal trainers for that matter. But they do not know that that is their niche, that that is the best niche for them, that they can get results for that niche, that they like being in that niche. That is just their thought process. They think, okay, that could be something for me. But in reality, they might be much better suited for the dentist niche or e-com apparel, e-com jewelry, but they aren't open to that because they are focused on fitness, you know, like the, the online fitness niche because that is where their background is. But when you are starting out, you have my permission to look into different niches. However, I do think that you should have one niche in mind when you're doing outreach because if you just become this generic jack of all trades agency, you will not really be an expert in any kind of particular niche and you will not speak to any particular kind of niche either. What we've done about two years ago now, um, and for the last, to be fair, the last year has been okay, but the year before that, so like the first year of the two, we ran ads for our agency. At the start, it went quite well. We got a, quite a few calls booked. We signed a couple of clients off the back of that. But I noticed that it was getting more and more difficult to sign or to get calls booked at, you know, at, in the first place with qualified companies. Second of all, I noticed that our cost per lead was going up, our cost per call book was going up, our cost per client sign was going up as well. So, you know, we dabbled into it, we turned it off, switched it up, you know, we, we didn't consistently run the ads. Then what we did was we basically pivoted to one particular niche within e-commerce. 
So we tailored everything around one particular niche. For those of you that are in my programs and mentorship programs, you guys will know what my niche is. To be fair, if you do a lot of digging online, you'll probably find it anyway. It's not like it's a big secret. Um, but by doing that, we have now got a five ROAS on our own agency ads. So we've put roughly, in the last two months, we've put roughly a grand into Facebook ads. We've signed five clients off the back of that with the retainers all ranging from a thousand euros to a thousand pounds. You know, a thousand pounds is usually our like, set retainer. One client uh, we agreed on euros just because it made more sense for them. Okay, so five thousand back from a thousand spent with our ads which is decent when we've been running these for two months and we're still testing and tweaking things along the way, right? The reason why we were able to do that is because we tailored everything to one niche. So rather than trying to reach out to every single e-com store under the sun, we just picked a little sub-niche that in our opinion, not a lot of people are reaching out to or not specifically reaching out to and we sort of became like the go-to guys within that niche and all of our branding is now tailored towards that. Um, not on the brand premiere page, we've actually created like a subsidiary of brand premiere for this and we're running ads towards that, that landing page, that Facebook page, that you know Instagram page, etc. And that is basically what we are focusing on and it's going really, really well because we have everything tailored towards that and the businesses that we are reaching out to, they are seeing that and think, oh wow, you know, this is this is me, this is me directly. You know, we, we are so specific with our targeting and our copy and our qualifying that yes, you know, we might not say uh, we might not um, be attractive to every single e-com store or even within that niche every single store but those that are sort of the stores that we want to go after they will see that think yeah that's me they are talking directly to me i want to i want to know what these guys are about and what they have to offer okay so what i highly recommend you guys do is is find your blue ocean so for those of you that are familiar with the Blue Ocean strategy, you guys know, you know, it's basically, it's a book by, um, um, apologies if I butchered the name, I think it's like Chan Kim or something like that. But basically there are two oceans, so the Red Ocean, where everyone is at, everyone is trying to, you know, catch fish, and there are not a lot of fish left in that ocean because they're either caught or they've thrown away because, you no, know, there's a lot of people there trying to catch the fish. Then there's the Blue Oceans, the, the uncharted territories basically, where there's not a lot of people active and there's still a lot of fish there. I understand that it's easier said than done because in your self-reference criteria, in your thought process or your perception of social media marketing, everything is saturated, right? But within social media marketing, try and find your sub-niche and start going after that. So again, take this with a pinch of salt when you're starting out. Focus on a niche, but if you know, you get other niches coming towards you, or you by chance get in contact with another niche, for example, for those of you that are active on Upwork, you know, don't just go on to your one particular niche on Upwork. You know, if there are other jobs available, but in mind, keep one niche that you want to focus on and start tailoring everything towards that. So again, quick example: let's say you are only focused on. Um, I don't know, stores that sell microphones. No idea why I've got the Yeti mic on my desk here, which is actually just out of, out of view. But um, let's say you're, you want to focus on stores that sell microphones, then create a sort of microphone store agency. You know, of course, your agency can still be whatever, whatever media, but within, within that, you can have uh, my, microphone media.com, I don't know, microphone ads.com, grow your microphone business.com, something like that. Have everything towards microphones, explain that you work with businesses that sell microphones, um, show some case studies of microphones. If you haven't got any case studies, you know, reach out to one and say, listen, can I run ads for you for free for a week in exchange for um, a case study or if I can use your material or results as portfolio material and so on and so forth. It's not that hard when you really think about it. Build up that social proof, become the expert within, in this case, microphones and make that your niche. And you'll notice that like, yes, there are a lot of e-com stores out there. Yes, there are a lot of uh, e-com store agencies, I should say. Yes, there are a lot of agencies in general out there, but there's not a lot of microphone e-com store agencies. So within that sort of sub niche, you'll become the expert and you'll have your blue ocean. Okay, so I hope you got some out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found this useful as well. If you did, please leave a comment down below and also leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations for videos you'd like me to create. For those of you that are not already in my free Facebook community, I have a free Facebook group called the Lifestyle Design Community where I have a beginner course, I have a free ebook on SMA, and I also go live every single Friday to basically hang out with you guys and answer questions that you may have regarding social media marketing and getting started. 
If you want to speak to me directly, feel free to send me a message on either Instagram or Facebook as well. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.